Yeah, so I had a 20 man gangbang last night. It was 27 people in total. It was an orgy. It was amazing. We sucked every dick in the room. And then it was free for all. Just, just fucking at will. That is fucking fire. I like that for you. I just have to say. I'm very sensual with it. I like make love to that. that I like really, really am into it. I'll go one hand, I'll go no hands, I'll go both hands. It just depends, and I always, I always give love to the balls. I'm just always playing with the balls. Ah, uh, yeah, I have something to hold on to. <laughs> yeah, forget the balls. No, I and, and the gooch, obviously. Oh, of course, get it, get back in there. Oh yes, I love a good cream pie. So I opted in. I asked everybody, please fill me up. Bro, every time I see this fat, he be having the craziest people interview. Like, where did he find these people from, son? She asked everybody to fill her up. We shared all the... There were a couple girls absolutely covered. There's a couple of us filled to the brim. How old are you, ladies? 30. 32. At your age, do you feel like dating has become easier or harder for you? We are not doing that. Neither one of them are anywhere close to 30 or 32, okay? Like, we're not doing that. Um, it's honestly stupid. What's the difference between now and then? It's harder to meet people who have the same interests as you. Because as a woman, the older you get, the more serious you get. Yeah. But men don't match that energy. Do you think it's because men are becoming more successful as they age and they have their pick of the little? No. no. I think they're becoming stupider, to be honest. That's <laughs> not a word. Think that they're just going for younger women. I don't think it has anything to do with age. No, I think it's that men have discovered that they don't need to try as hard to want to win a woman's heart, and it's sad because there are a lot of women out there who will settle for that, and that's fine. We won't settle for that. So if you don't bring your A game, you're just really not getting it. And by getting it, I mean, like, even the chance to just, like, take us out on a date. <laughs> First off, stupider is not a word. That's one. Two, if y'all are 30 and 32, y'all aging like spoiled milk. And thirdly, what I'm going to say is, like, back in the day, right, when your grandmother, my grandmother, my grandfather, your grandfather, when, when they were dating, those women were worth it. I'm going to be real. They were worth it. Dating is harder because the caliber of women aren't the same. I'm not saying the caliber of men are the same, but dating is harder now because the caliber of women aren't the same. Who are you with today? I'm Brianna. Where you from? Maryland. Maryland. What you doing out here? Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. Spring break. Yeah. So you, you out here to have fun? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You got like a man or something? Yeah. You do? Why you out here without your man? Mm. He's here. I don't know where though. Oh, you don't know where he at? Though. Yeah. So he's just out here just living free. Yeah. yeah. How long you been dating your uh, boyfriend for? Three years. Three years. Mm -hmm. uh, do you love him? Yeah. What's your love about him? I love his smile. I love how he treats me. I love how he spoils me. You know, everything. Nice. Everything. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, bet. look, check me out, right? Can you do a 360? Come on now, dog. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> hey, yo. All right. I don't know if he about to say this, right? But if he doesn't, I'm going to say it. You have a man you've been with for three years. You're doing a public interview. And you just did a 360 to show your whole body. Yeah, that's crazy. You have a man that you're doing 360 on public interviews. You see your ass and all that. That's crazy. That's crazy. 360 why you got a boyfriend is crazy. Oh! You tricked me. Oh! Ow. You tricked me.
take you? I just asked you to do a question. 360 why you got a boyfriend like a boy is crazy. Friend? Yeah. You got a boy best friend? I like your boy best friend for Ooh. I've known him since middle school. That's cool. So I got a question. Why didn't you choose your boy f- best friend over your boyfriend? Why, if you knew him longer? Mm. That's a good question. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. He asking good questions. Yeah, a good I, question. I think I just didn't want to ruin the friendship. For real? Yeah. That's cool. So I got a question. Have you ever did anything with your boy best friend? Nah. You never did nothing. Are you sure? You probably, why you, you smiling? Lying. Why you kind of cheesy? You lying. No, I never, I did, never did nothing. I never kissed anything lying. like that. You never came over on like a late night or nothing like that. Yeah, but we ain't do nothing. That don't make sense, bro. Come on. All right, man. So today I want to send a letter to your boyfriend, right? All right. I want you to call your boy best friend and be like, I want to come over and Netflix and chill. I need to act right. Why? Go ahead, call him. I want to see what he say. All right, wait, what you say? Yeah. I'm going to call him and put on speakerphone. You, like, you want to come over on Netflix and chill? Put on speaker, put on speaker, put on speaker. Turn it out over here. Let's see if he's on Netflix. Hello, what up? Uh, hi. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Nothing. Say, can I uh, come over and Netflix and chill? Um, I wanted to come. I wanted to come over and Netflix and chill. Your man must be cheap. Huh? <laughs> you go like you and your man goes to somewhere now. No, no, I just miss you. Man, how you miss me? Did you say each other? Huh? What y'all do? You say what do you mean? What y'all do? I say what we, we ain't seen each other in a little bit. What you mean? Say what y'all do. It's been three days. What do we do? We what? Did what we had to do. Oh. What do you mean? What we did? What we had to do? You had your head off the edge of the bed. Throw. Hold up. Oh. Wait, Wait what? Wait what? Wait what? What did you say? What did you say? I said I had your head off the bed and throw. You go for that? Bro, come on. Hey, this, this time, my oh, oh. No, you didn't. So you lied. No, I'm not lying. You Bro, lied. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. She lied. Oh. Bro, this is a fucking TikTok. Why would you say that? Like, obviously, why would I ask you that? Like, come on now. Like, come oh. the fuck on. Come on. Oh, Bro. Can you just delete this? No, don't no. delete nothing. No, we didn't. No, bro. No, no. You say you were loyal. I didn't fucking say that. You didn't ask me that. Yes, I am loyal. He's what lying. You, I don't know why he's lying. <laughs> oh. Hey, man. What's another term for the road? Like, what else could you call that? Hey. What? Like streets? another term for the road? What else could you call that? The streets? What do you mean another term for the road? Like what else could you call the road? Yeah, where is it? Right there. Okay, go ahead. The street. The street. Concrete. No, the street. You for the streets. She for the streets. Yeah, man, that's tough. You for the street. That's crazy. She for the streets, bro. Yeah, like dead fucking. I mean, I know it's a lot of y'all on here that say I got a male best friend and we ain't did nothing. All right, cool. But you probably about 50, 60, 40 something. You don't count. That's messed up, man. This man give vivid details too. She had her head at the edge of the bed and he was he was checking her tonsils. That's messed up. Are you dressed like this for yourself or is it because you want guys to hit on you? Mm. For myself and for guys to hit on me because I, it is a loaded question, but it's both because I dress like this because it makes me feel good and I, I feel like I look good for me and I want to look good for, you know, to get a guy's attention. Sure, why not? Who is that, doesn't like attention? Is that also why you got your nipples pierced? <laughs> I got my nipples pierced because this is America. <laughs> Well, why are you covering them up? No, like I put you on the spot. You come out here with you know your what? tummy I'm out, your nipples pierced. Is. Then he's just going to see it. No. Is your dick pierced? You want to find out? Hey, Maybe. Yo. How much do you think you could handle? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I'm glad she kept it 100 without capping. 
it's a lot of it's a lot of women out here that would say, I dress for me. You know what I'm saying? That's like females that say, I get BBLs for me. You got BBL for you. You can't even see your butt. You can't see your butt unless you're in the mirror. So how you got a BBL for you? You feel me? That makes sense? I'm glad she kept it 100, man. I just feel as though, you know, if you have... And y'all could disagree or agree with me. I feel as though, like, when you're in a relationship, you got to keep it respectful. Like, certain things is only meant for your husband's eye or your boyfriend's eye. Y'all tell me, you know? Because I know some of y'all going to be like, well, if he's not insecure, then he shouldn't care. Y'all going to throw the insecure word out there. Y'all tell me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video. I know I haven't uploaded in seven days, but I'm actually trying to get used to my work schedule. So um, I'm going to have joints pre-uploaded. Because I definitely want to hang out with my people. You know what I'm saying? I definitely want to hang out with y'all. So, you know, we're going to find a schedule that's going to work for us. Yeah, man, we're going to keep this barbecue going. So I appreciate your support. I love you guys. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow.